Welcome. This is the first topic of the tropical rainforest model. We will define what is a tropical rainforest and its adaptations. First, we will go through the criteria that define tropics. Then, we will give other inputs that define also the tropics. We will go through the stratification layers and certain adaptations of each layer. So, tropical rainforests contain the most biodiversity around the world. But why? Well, ecologists have certain criteria of this bloom of biodiversity that considers the following. First, areas that receive, receive direct overheat solar radiation. Second, areas with a net positive energy balance. Third, areas where mean annual temperature do not vary with latitude and stay between 25 degrees. Four, areas where seasonality of precipitation exceeds seasonality of temperature. There are other inputs as well to the composition of tropical area, such as la altitude, topography, wind patterns, ocean currents, land to water ratio, and geography. In fact, the area that corresponds to the tropic is located around the tropical belt, which is between negative 90 and 90 degrees in the equator, where the sun hits constantly at a 90 degree angle. This means it has a constant and intense amount of sun throughout the year. This constant heat around the equator also affects the air currents and around the globe. It causes hot air to rise up, pulling moisture from the surrounding seas, as you can see in the blue arrows, and this humid air that rises, once it cools down, it comes back down as water, so it precipitates. This causes a high amount of precipitation around the year. Another important factor is intertropical conversion cells. These conditions shift longitudinal up and down direction. That is why tropical rainforests are located in the north part of South America, in Central Africa, and in Southeast Asia. Therefore, sunlight, rainfall, and constant temperature are the main factors of a tropical biome. And these factors allow the forest, just like the tropical rainforest, to grow with specific adaptations. The tropical rainforests are composed of stratified layers, where different types of plants and animals with different types of adaptations coexist together to thrive. The stratification of the tropical rainforest is composed of the forest floor, the understory layer, the canopy layer, and the emergent layer. Starting with the forest floor, only 2% of the sun arise, arrives to this layer of the stratification. It is mainly composed of fungi, decaying plants and fruits, and everything that falls from the other layers, and of course, short vegetation. Main Created using Powtoon.